2013 will probably be remembered in space for this image, the oldest light in our universe some 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This is the legacy of ESA's observatory Planck, the most detailed map ever created of the cosmic microwave background. What Planck revealed in March 2013 challenges the foundations of our current understanding of the universe. On the 7th of May, ESA's small class launcher Vega marked its second flight with another success, with the launch of Proba V from Europe's spaceport. Since then, the third Proba satellite has already provided data of global vegetation, demonstrating that the satellite is on track to continue a 15-year legacy of global vegetation monitoring from space. On the 5th of June, Vega's older and bigger brother Ariane 5 broke the record for the heaviest launch. Weighing more than 20 tons, ATV-4 Albert Einstein delivered more than 1,400 items to keep the ISS operating and to allow its six residents to perform their daily experiments. ESA astronaut Luca Pamitano oversaw the automated docking and was responsible for unloading the cargo. During the five months he spent in the ISS, Pamitano conducted more than 30 scientific experiments and performed two spacewalks. He returned to Earth on the 11th of November, missing by only a few days the station's 15th birthday. 2013 has also been an important year for satellite communications. Launched by Ariane 5 in July, Europe's largest and most sophisticated telecommunications satellite, AlphaSat, is now part of Inmarsat fleet for mobile communications and is performing experiments on innovative technologies. AlphaSat represents also a new approach in satellite communications, since it was achieved through a public-private partnership between ESA and Inmarsat. 2013 has also been an important year for Earth observation. After more than four years mapping the globe's ocean currents and lumpy gravitational field with unrivaled precision, ESA's Goche satellite ran out of fuel and disintegrated in the high atmosphere on November the 11th. Its legacy is the most accurate shape of the geoid, or the shape the globe would be if all oceans were completely at rest, which deepens our understanding of ocean circulation, ice dynamics and the Earth's interior. Shortly after, ESA's fourth Earth Explorer mission was launched. SWARM will give us unprecedented insights into the complex working of the magnetic shield that protects our biosphere from charged particles and cosmic radiation. During the next four years, the measurements sent by the three satellites flying in formation will help us understand its current weakening and the reason behind this. Finally, another promising mission, Gaia, marked the end of 2013. The launch of ESA's Billion Star Surveyor from Europe's spaceport marked the start of a five-year mission to map the stars with unprecedented precision. By charting their positions and changes in brightness and composition, Gaia is expected to produce the first ever 3D map of the Milky Way, helping us to understand better the structure and history of our home galaxy to discover new supernovas and, maybe, even planets around nearby stars.